Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can connect your PS4 controller and your PS5 controller to your computer, both with wire and wireless. So let's uh, jump in it. So first one, uh, if you know this already you can just skip to the next video uh, but first one is about the cabled solution so when I got my PS4 in like 1924 or something like that <laughs> I got this cable here and this cable here is like 20 centimeter long and yeah i i was playing with it when this one was running out of battery and i was charging it and it was a mess and i read that playstation recommend to use this uh but do you have to no you don't have to i'm gonna prove it <laughs> because here i have another cable and it's probably a little bit difficult for you to read uh yeah camera cannot zoom directly into it but anyway this is uh, a cable that i use for another headset which is called the racer so it's green inside so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plug it in here and first of all i'm gonna we're gonna jump over here actually <laughs> and uh, i have started up the game oh no there we go. Uh, the game called Farming Simulator 22, which was just released. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that the Bluetooth is off. So we're not doing any Bluetooth uh, connection now. Uh, it's only through the cable. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plug this into my... Now, before I plug in the playstation 4 controller you need to know that the sound is gonna be off and that's because when i connect my ps4 controller uh, to my computer via a cable this little guy here's microphone hits in and the microphone on this is uh, ruined so it doesn't work so that's why what you're gonna see now when i plug it in is that you don't gonna hear anything but you're gonna see that it's actually working so i'm really sorry but yeah it's uh, <laughs> this one is old that's why i play with this uh, through, uh, via bluetooth way much better usb hub here like Like so, then nothing happens. Then when it's Bluetooth coming in. So, um, <laughs> moving on to the next one is this little fellow here. Oh yeah, this is the PlayStation 5 controller, which I use on my PlayStation 5. Uh, but I want to get the hold of one more to use on my PS uh, PC. So with this one, um you get an even bigger cable yeah playstation have actually taken some uh, experience and they have included a cable which is like two meter long maybe and the main difference here is uh, that it's usb in the one end uh, but in the other end there is usb c because old generation playstation and new generation playstation don't have the same connections so we're gonna do the same here i'm gonna plug this one in and i'm gonna plug it into my usb hub and it's a yellow oh it's vibrating <laughs> i know <laughs> It's vibrating, so now if I do like so, boom, 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 
I can go up and down, I can choose, I can go back, and it's working perfectly. Uh, plug it out, then nothing happens. So that's the cable version of PlayStation 5. And also here, also here, uh, you don't need to use that uh, specific PlayStation uh, cable. I have one here. I know I have too, <laughs> too much gadgets. This is, uh, let's see if we can read this one. Uh, probably not, but um, uh, this is a JBL. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this is a JBL uh, for one of my speakers here uh, with a USB-C. So I'm going to plug this one in. Bam. And I'm going to plug it in. Oh, so many cables here now. <laughs> to here. And uh, let's see. There we go. It's working. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> it's working also with a non PlayStation cable. This is a JBL cable. I thought this was only for charging, uh, but it's working. And this one also is vibrating. Oh, I, I need to get myself one of more of these guys. <laughs> So that was the cable version and uh, the next one now is I'm going to show you how to connect these two guys uh, wireless uh, via Bluetooth. So now let's jump into the Bluetooth part of it, connecting these two fellows to your computer via Bluetooth. So I think we're going to start with the old fellow. It's older than me, I think. So, the first thing uh, you need to do is... Uh, let's see, let's go over here. And go down to the bottom left corner of your computer screen. Or you can type it in your search field if you have one. Uh, we can test that, actually. I have it here, but anyway. Uh, we can search in Bluetooth here. And you will get the same up here settings for Bluetooth and devices so now you need to activate your so now your computer is more or less ready so now you need to activate your PlayStation 4 controller and to do so it's pressing the PlayStation button and the share button that side share button <laughs> At the same time, simultaneously, you can do two times uh, at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to press those now and it should start flashing. There we go. Can you see it? It's a little bit uh, off, but uh, it's flashing. <laughs> so what we need to do now is we need to also activate Bluetooth on our computer. So here we go. This is the Bluetooth on and off. So now the Bluetooth is on on your computer. Now you need to add the controller. Uh, I'm just going to move this here so you can see it. So on the top there it says Bluetooth. Click that one. And you see here wireless controller. Bam. Just click it. Connecting. Wireless connector is ready to go. So now we can jump into the game here. And now you can see. If I go up and down on uh, my left thumb here, it's working. The X button is working. I can go into the game. I can use everything. I can. This is so much easier than all of these. <laughs> but that's uh, what you prefer to do, of course. So uh, that's uh, pretty easy to, uh, to do it with the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. Now here is a little bit tricky part and I did struggle a little bit with the PlayStation 5 controller to connect this one. Uh, but um, I'm gonna jump to that video straight now because I didn't get it to work in the beginning but eventually I got this one also connected. So after about oh, half an hour troubleshooting <laughs> I finally found out what the error was uh, why I couldn't connect this to Bluetooth is well it was actually that this guy here the PlayStation 4 controller was still connected 
I know, I know. So what we're gonna do now is still, I'm gonna go down to the bottom left corner of my computer, start typing Bluetooth, and there we go. You're watching this, yes. So what the problem was is I couldn't find anything wireless connect uh, controllers connected here, but all the way down here, under other units, my PlayStation 4 uh, controller was connected. So I had to reconnect it and remove it actually. So what we should see now is I'm gonna activate this one again or pair it. PlayStation button and the creator button. You know, this one, the big one and the one little guy up here. So now it's flashing blue again. You have good time, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth on my uh, computer. I'm gonna add device and I'm gonna click on Bluetooth like so. And now you see a wireless controller. Bam! Connecting. So now this is showing a solid blue color. Probably difficult for you to see. <laughs> But it is there, so now if I fire up the game again, uh, we should actually be able, there we go, up and down, up and down, up and down, and yeah, we can, we can do whatever we want now, there we go, so now this one is a solid plus. And the really nice thing about this is that I'm going to show you something actually. Uh, the major plus for this one, I'm going to quit the game now. Bam, like so. And I'm going to disconnect. Uh, I'm going to take off the Bluetooth like so. So now it's deactivated. And here you see Bluetooth is deactivated for the wireless controller. I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth again on my computer, but this one is not on. You know, this is uh, this is dead now. <laughs> so what I'm gonna show you now, now this one will remember your computer and the computer will remember this one. So this is actually pretty cool. This is what I do every day with this guy here. So, now, let's see, <laughs> now comes the big thing, <laughs> is that if I go in, oh, you don't see it here, there we go, this is the uh, icon for the game I have, if I fire up the game now, this is not connected, it's dead, everything is dead, but what should happen now is, you know, now I can just click through this intro here with my mouse, you know, and I can use the mouse, but I don't like to use the mouse. So now comes the trick. Now it's only a matter of pressing the PlayStation 5 or PlayStation button in the middle here. This one. This big fellow here. Press it once. Bam. And a solid blue light comes on. And if you see on the game, now it's connected. Because this guy here and the computer remembers each other. So now I can use this. I can fire up a game here. Enable all mods, everything. And this should be good to go. And bye bye to this one, I said. Well, this video, of course, was about... Um, it was about uh, how to connect PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller to your computer if you're doing gaming and you're like me, you don't like the keyboard and you don't like the mouse. It's too much buttons and too much <laughs> going on. <laughs> so that's, that's the way you do it. Uh, connecting PlayStation controllers to your computer. Uh, this is probably also going to work on your laptop if you have a Bluetooth or you buy this uh, USB Bluetooth dongle. Uh, it's probably going to work also on your laptop. Uh, at Mac, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the Mac world. 
Uh, this is an ordinary Windows computer. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And if you like to see more of these videos, hardware videos, uh, give us a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.